What's up, gang? Glad you're back. Glad I'm back. Uh, I got something completely different. I'm going to do this time. Uh, I am not a lawyer. I am not any kind of expert on the law. There are plenty of lawyers on YouTube that do this sort of thing. Uh, there are plenty of uh, Second Amendment, Fourth Amendment, First Amendment experts out here that do this kind of thing when they're reviewing uh, videos on YouTube of police violations and stuff like that. But I saw this one today uh, on the Twitter, followed it over to Reddit, and eventually found out that this is actually on YouTube. Um, so this is actually, this actually belongs to a guy named Jim Hodges. Uh, Jim uh, does have his own YouTube account, but hasn't been very active uh, until he posted this on November 1st. So this is a stop that is made on him, um, I believe on October 31st, uh, just a couple weeks ago, or, or actually just last week on Halloween, um, of while he was walking on the street. This happened, I, I, I did look this up, <clears throat> excuse me, I did look this up and found that this actually happened on... Uh, so if I find it here, yeah, this is in Columbia County in Lake City, Florida, which is actually just not that far from where I live. Um, and happened here in front of the flooring outlet by Van Carpet One. Free shout out to you guys, so free advertising there over at 131 West Duval Street. Uh, and from what I can tell, um, when this happened, uh, he apparently got a hold of the body cam footage and has posted it up on his YouTube with the name ID refusal fourth amendment violation. This is only about four and a half minutes long. Um, and we're just going to talk about it a little bit because when I saw it, I was just floored. I had no idea where it occurred or anything until I looked it up just while I was researching this and getting it set up. And I was like, Oh, let me see where that is. I was like, Oh, wow, it's in Lake city. So it's actually, it, so kind of surprising, but for, for a neo for a for a for a legal neophyte like me uh, and I do not know the law at all uh, like it, it, well not at all I do know the law but uh, I am not an expert on first amendment second amendment fourth amendment police stopping rights and stuff like that but I've seen enough to know when things are going sideways here's the thing when you watch this common sense is just going to kick in and it's just going to blow your mind if you've never seen anything like this. This guy's name is Jim Hodges. Uh, I will I'll post a link to his um, to his YouTube account so you guys can go over there, show him some love. Please subscribe to his channel. Follow this because I have a feeling this one's going to blow up in a big way. Right now, he already has 100,000 views on this one. I saw it this afternoon, checked it out. He had somewhere around 30 or 40, I think. So it's already blowing up pretty good. Um, but we're going to go ahead and check out this and, and just kind of stop it as it goes. As, as I see things, because there's a lot to unpack here and, uh, and, uh, and I would definitely want your comments below. I want to know what you think about this. Did you see something I didn't see? Did you, do you know something? I don't know more than likely you do. Please let me know in the comments. Uh, in the meantime, please like subscribe, share this with your friends and with complete strangers. And, uh, here we go. What's this in your back pocket? I just saw you walking it. It's a navigational age. What's the problem? You a tyrant? Yeah, I am actually. What's your name? And okay, we're 16 seconds in. And this female cop, I do not know the names of, of except for Mr. Hodges here, I do not know the names of any other cops involved. Uh, because they did not give them, but that's coming later. Um... He stops him because she suspects something in his back pocket, which you can see right there in the bottom left corner is his walking stick in his back pocket. Uh, Jim Hodges is legally blind, which will come out later. Uh, he's not completely blind, but he is legally blind and has this walking stick in his back pocket. And when she addresses him, he says, it's a walking stick. What are you, a tyrant? And she responds with, oh, let's just hear it again. I saw you walking it. It's a navigational age. What's the problem? You a tyrant? Yeah, I am, actually. What's your name? So, 16 seconds into this video, 
this 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 officer of the law has already completely blown any reasonable standing she has in this interaction like it's out the window um if this goes to court based on what's hap- getting ready to happen and his lawyer is worth any kind of salt that statement is is going to be seen and heard and once her name is made public and everybody knows who she is her arrests are going to be investigated and the lawyers for people that she has arrested and put away are going to be filing grievances, complaints, and all kinds of motions against her just because of that one statement. Are you a tyrant? Yes, I am. Not good. If, if you're in the police department there, you have a problem on your hands right now. Let's keep going. We're only 16 seconds in. Let's keep going. Name and date of birth. I don't have to give that unless Yes, I'm sir. Good. I was investigating. You have reasonable Do you want me to put suspicion? you in handcuffs right now? Yes, sir, I do. This woman does not know how uh, to handle these interactions. She has she came at this in an escalated way and has does nothing but escalate it from that point. We are 24 seconds in. She has called herself a tyrant and she has now threatened to arrest him. Insane. Just absolutely insane. Yeah, yes, I'm sir. Good. I was investigating. You have reasonable do you want me to put suspicion? you in handcuffs right now? Yes, sir, I do. What is your suspicion? It looks like you're carrying a gun in your back pocket. I'm stopping to make sure you're carrying it properly. You well, don't have, have you to... ensured that it's not a firearm? No, you keep turning so I can't see it. You don't have to be a dick to me. We're now 35 seconds in. And... <laughs> This blows my mind. This blows my mind. Whoever, I don't know how long this woman has been on the force. I don't know how long she's been a law officer. I respect law officers. You guys put your lives on the line to do the job that a bunch of us don't want to do or can't do or, 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 or for whatever reason. But that doesn't mean that you're right. That doesn't mean you know how to do your job because this woman does not know how to do her job. She needs to go through some serious training in how to interact with the public. Because in 35 seconds, she has messed up at least three times. And it's just, it's unfathomable that, that, that in this day and age, with everything that has happened with video and law enforcement in the last two, three years, even going back to Rodney King in the 90s, man, you look at the history of video and law enforcement. Like, if you're the captain or, or the police chief or the sheriff, like, I would be making sure my people know how to interact with the public. Like, they know how to talk to somebody and not escalate a situation, they know how to de escalate a situation. Because you can't control the person you're approaching and you do have a job to do. But the way you approach them sets the tone. And the way you interact with them in the first 10, 15 seconds will probably determine just how bad or good that interaction is going to go. This should have been, if she really felt like that walking stick in his back pocket was a gun, First of all, what kind of gun are you sticking in your back pocket that sticks straight up and is white? Like that's it's not like he has he has a camouflage from Call of Duty on on a on a Glock. Okay? That's not a gun. Anybody who knows that is not no. I'm not buying that at all. I don't know why she p- decided to pull this guy over and 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 start this, but the 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 I mean, look at this, look at this, look at how that looks in his back pocket. Just that right there. Does that look like a gun? Does does that look like a gun? It's white. It's sticking straight up. It's not a handle. You haven't got that shoved into the back of your pants. Like, you need to learn to deal with the public, lady. You need to learn to deal with the public. I was investigating. Do you want me to put you in handcuffs right now? Yes, sir, I do. 
What is your suspicion? It looks like you're carrying a gun in your back pocket. I'm stopping to make sure you're carrying it properly. You well, don't have, have you to... ensured that it's not a firearm? No, you keep turning so I can't see it. You don't have to be a dick to me. Well, you're being one to me. No, sir, I'm have doing my job. Day. Am I detained? Yeah, you are. What's your name and date of birth? It does not matter. Yes, sir, it does. Do you have a crime? What... Negative. You cannot be detained unless you're on suspicion of crime. You cannot be carded. Florida is not a stop and card state. OK, you cannot be carded unless there is a crime or you're under suspicion of a crime. And there is none here. She has evaluated that that stick is not a gun. This guy is free to go. Everything that happens on it from here forward is going to be part of a lawsuit. Would you like me Call to put you in here? He's please. right here. All right. That so, supervisor yeah. just happens to be there. Or a walking stick. So, and it could look like a weapon. She asked you to really present it, okay? Now she's asking me for ID. Okay. Uh, What's the mistake he made? What's the mistake he made? Let's remember now, this is an officer of the law sworn to protect and serve. His primary duty is to the general public, to the individual citizen. Okay? What's the first thing he does in this interaction? Let me play it for you again. So what's the stop you for? For a walking stick. So, and it could look like a weapon. She asked. And it could look like a weapon. She the really presented, it, okay? And now she's asking me for to ID. So she immediately backs up his officer. Instead of trying to get all the information before making any kind of a statement at all. The fact that he made a statement was stupid. The fact that he backed up his officer first was ridiculous. So this guy is not is not trained in negotiation. This guy is not trained in 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 basic de-escalation of a situation, and he's not good at moderating any kind of an event. And he is her supervisor. So this guy is a supervisor, and he, and has no idea what he's doing. I don't need the ID unless okay. there's reasonable, articulated suspicion and that stick. I have committed a crime and committing a crime and or is about to do a crime. Sir, and her suspicion was that you were armed, okay? And she's asking you for your ID. Well, now she it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. She, if she suspected he was armed, he proved, he proved that he was not, he's free to go. You can't be detained for that. There's no longer a crime being committed. Period. The minute he pulled that out and showed it to her and showed it was a walking stick, it's over. Okay, thank you, sir. Have a good day. I apologize for the delay. Be safe out there. It's verified that I am not on okay? so there is no you problem. Have your ID or not? I do have my ID, okay. but you don't need it, okay? You're being okay. detained, is what he said. Now they violated his Fourth Amendment right. You deserve it. Seven seven whiskey mark detained. I don't know where his wallet is. Where's your wallet at, sir? I don't have a wallet on me. Okay, where's your ID? Where's your ID? Pocket. Which pocket? You are not allowed to search me. You are not allowed to search me. I don't know about this right here. Once he's under arrest, I think he can be searched. But the fact that he's under arrest for no reason means that he can't be searched without a warrant. But I'm not sure about that. If you know, please let me know in the comments because I'm not exactly sure how that works. Because I believe this would fall under like uh, um, poison apple going po through the poison tree. Like you, you've, you've illegally arrested him. So anything you find or anything you do after that can't be considered legal because it's all based on an illegal move to begin with. If you're a lawyer or something, please shape me up on that. But I believe that's what's going on. It's in this pocket. Thank you. I want your names and badge numbers. 1257 on Nick 654. Okay, you heard him. I want your name and badge numbers. Now, I'm not sure what the law in Florida is, but I know this is the first time I've ever seen a video like this where 
he asked for a name and badge and they didn't immediately offer it to him. Neither one of them offered it to them. 427. Yeah, 4427. Hotel 322-457-612540. That's twice he asked for it. I'm going to skip ahead here because uh, there's a siren coming. Yes, I am. Okay. You are now three minutes and 12 seconds into this interaction, and for the first time, somebody has asked this guy, are you legally blind? Is that why you have a walking stick? Which you're, I don't think you're really technically allowed to ask him that anyway, but that's the first time anybody's taken an interest in why he has a walking stick. up here in the dark for jury duty, which was canceled. So this man walked up here for jury duty. He's doing his civic duty and that turns into a Fourth Amendment violation. That's insane. Why aren't you using your stick? You don't have to use your stick all the time? Not all the time. 26? Green. All right, Mr. Hodges. Was that that hard? It's going to be. I want your name and your badge number. You know what? Put him in jail for resisting. <laughs> I have a feeling that both these people are going to lose their job. Or at least be demoted. I don't know. There's got to be some kind of repercussion for this. <laughs> she, she, this, this, this twisted chick here gets all smart. Was that so hard? And his answer is just epic. Green. All right, Mr. Hodges. Was that that hard? It's gonna be. I want your name and your badge number. It wasn't hard, man. It's very easy to open your mouth, stick your foot in it, and violate somebody's amendment of rights. It's very easy. And you just did it in, a, in, in three minutes and 40 seconds. Well, it took less time than that, didn't it? it, it like, it, in no time at all. They, they, this guy's going to have a field day with this one. He's getting ready to get paid. I guarantee you. He's getting ready to get paid. Because there's no way, there's no way, and... and, and I don't know if this guy pulling up behind him is, is, a, is a cop or not, but um, yeah, if he's the boss and he just, if he realizes what's, what just went down, like I, I would, if I'm this guy's boss, if I'm the sheriff or something, I pull up and this just went down, I'm going to be like, you've got to be kidding me. What just happened here? You guys know better than this. You should know better than this. Don't you? Because apparently you, you're not even competent enough to handle a walking stick with a legally blind guy who was doing his civic duty this morning. You know what? Put him in jail for resisting. You know what? Put him in jail for resisting. And there go your rights out the window. This, that, that just sealed it right there. Did he resist arrest at any point? At any point did he resist arrest? Did he try to get away? When they would handcuffed him, he stood there and put his arms behind his back. He never moved a foot. An inch from where they stood him that entire time while she was checking on his ID. You know what? Just put him in jail for resisting arrest. That dude's an idiot. Okay? That cop right there, he's a freaking idiot. He's a moron. He's stupid. And he's getting ready to pay for it. And he's probably just cost the city of Lake City, that police department, a chunk of change. Because he's a freaking moron. Because his, his pride got up inside him and he didn't want to deal with this guy who knew more about the Constitution than he did. The, the legally blind guy with a walking stick knows more about the Constitution than the guy with a gun. With a badge. With the law on his side. If this doesn't infuriate you, I don't know what will. Okay. All right, let's go. I want your name and badge number two, sir. Three. 
four. That's four. Have a seat. You want to pick my property up, please? I sure will. After you have a seat. You want to pull this out of my back pocket? Sure. Here, I'll grab your jacket for you, too. And then she gets it nice to get all sweet and everything, and that's pretty much the end of it right there. I'm just disgusted by this. Just completely disgusted by by all three four it's four four twenty three, that's four thirteen, four minutes of this, and just that is how fast you could you if if you're not smart enough and you don't pay attention and you're not up on what's going on. That's how fast you can have your rights ripped away from you. Just that fast. Was it easy? Oh yeah, it was really easy. That was two stupid people doing the wrong thing every step of the way. And I'm sorry I'm calling law enforcement stupid. That by no, by no means am I talking about, about law enforcement in general. I'm talking about these two specific individuals. This Karen who, who started off on the wrong foot and got steadily worse. And and this bozo of a super of, of a of a supervisor who didn't know any better either and just made things worse, literally made things worse since he put him under arrest and then he told him to go take her told her to take him to jail. It's just amazing. It's just, it's just that's that's how easy it is to lose your, to to have your rights violated and that's how easy it is to be dumb enough to do it. Either one of those two. You need to pay attention, you know. You need to know your rights when it comes when it comes to, to to interacting with law enforcement. But the onus here is on law enforcement. If you are a cop, and I've had and I have plenty of friends who have been cops and that are cops uh, in, in Florida and in South Carolina and in Georgia, actually. Um, a, a friend of mine I went to school with, her son just graduated the academy in Savannah, so he's he's law enforcement now, and I expect the same thing from him. Like you need to know the law. But you need to know how to interact with people, too. You need to know how to talk to people. Your job is to protect and serve. You are a servant. You are a guardian. You are not an authoritarian tyrant like she thinks she is. You're not a dictatorial abuser of the law like he thinks he is. Like the supervisor thinks he is. That guy did nothing wrong. He was doing his civic duty, going to, going to jury duty. And just that quickly, in four minutes, he's off to jail for no reason whatsoever. It's just unbelievable. Anyway, let me know what you think. I know this is kind of crazy. This is a little bit different than stuff I usually do, and I didn't mean for it to go this long. But this one just, man, when I caught this one this morning, I'm like, oh, I'm talking about this. And I've been thinking about it all day. And it just, it riled me up because it, it just, it does a disservice to, to actual law enforcement who know what they're doing and care about their job and care about it and, and things like this the next time somebody runs into them like they're automatically going to be suspect in in their interaction the civilian is going to be suspect of the, of the law enforcement of the officials interaction with them because of stuff like this it doesn't it doesn't take much to ruin your reputation and right now if you're a cop in america you don't have much room to be ruined you you, you should be doing everything possible to avoid that everything possible Okay, I got that off my chest. I feel better. I hope that guy sues him. I hope. I hope. I hope. Um, I hope those two cops um, are justly dealt with by by whatever means they come up with. I hope they don't get away with this. I hope that something happens to them. Um, and I hope that guy is is, is rec you know is is paid for it, compensated for it, because that is and, and it should and it should hurt. I'm not, I'm not a litigious person. I think there's way too much litigation in this country, but if you violate a right like that, like you should pay and that should, if I'm, if I'm the treasurer of that County, I'm like these two cops over here just cost us X amount of dollars. You guys need to make sure you don't do that again. All y'all going through training. We're going to all learn the constitution. We're all going to learn how to talk to the public. We're all going to learn public speaking. We're all going to learn moderation and mediation. And learn to be decent human beings. Anyway. I'll see you next time.
You guys have a good one. Hey, if you liked it, jab that like button. Please share it if you feel like uh, this is worth sharing, and I hope you do. And uh, for, most importantly, please leave me a comment below and let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what you thought of this. Was I right? Am I right? Am I wrong? Am I 100% right? 100% wrong? Maybe 50-50? I don't know if you got if you got a better outlook on it. If you got some, I, I want to hear I want to hear your suggestions on it. In the meantime, check out this other stuff I have over here because uh, it's not too bad either. But uh, y'all have a great one. I'll see you next time. Love you.